Good evening, everybody. It's Patsy from Patsy's Crochet. I'm here with this yarn and hook review. On, I know I did one after Christmas too on some of these new hooks, but I'm going to use them again. Um, we got a number four weight, and it's. I think I did one of these before, but I want to try it with new hooks. Um, Mandela Ombre, and it's a size four. And then I know I did one with the Burnett Premium as the number four, but I want to try it with these new hooks. And then I got a new one from uh, from Polly's Crocheted Creations from Tori um, in our last Happy Mail. And it's Patton's Beehive Baby Chunky, and it's the number five. So I want to see if we can try all these with these new ones. Okay, first I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> So, I'm um, using the five or the 650 millimeter. I want to start off big. I know it says it's number four, but I want to start off with the number big. So, 6.50 millimeter, higher, higher from Ophelia Talks. Okay, so I chained 10 already. So, we're going to do um, a half double crochet into the second chain from hook. We'll do that all the way down. Oops, it's just me. <laughs> These are very nice hooks. I did it loose enough too for the, the chain. But that's a good thing with these bigger hooks. So if you want to get a smaller yarn and make things a little bit more lacier, you, you, this is what you do with the bigger hooks. It's not bad, it's going in. So this is a number 6.5 Haya Haya and this is the first row half double crochets and it went in good so we chain the two. So that is the Haya Haya 6.5. You can probably go higher to make it more lacier. I just wanted to try this and so that's a five, uh, 650 and now we're going to use a six a six millimeter from uh, Knitter's Pride. These are really good. I've been using the 350 for my little squares. They're both good crochet hooks. I'm not using I usually don't use a lot of big hooks so this is would be neat. Oh sorry. So we're just doing half double crochets. And one more down here at the end. Okay, and then we're going to chain two. So this is the Knitter's Pride number six. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. So the looser one is 650, it's down at the bottom. A little tighter is at the top, the six. So it still looks good. And then we're going to use uh, number 550 from Haya Haya. And then we got other ones. Um, one of the economic ones from the Dollar Tree from um, Polly's Crocheted Creations. We're going to do next. Okay, so this is the higher, higher one. And it's doing pretty good. Sorry, I keep putting my uh, hands down. But it's go it, does it goes really good. If you like your stitches tighter, you just do it tighter with a different hook, it doesn't matter. But it's always good to have the practice. And then one more here. Okay, so that is a uh, number 5.5 Haya Haya from Ophelia Talks. Okay. 
Oh, I did that backwards. Well, now we're going to do... What is that number? Five. We're going to do a five in economic. I thought I had the other one economic here. Okay. Not bad, it's going right through. The Sharna is stretchy too, so, you know, like, my tension can either be really too tight or too loose, so it all depends on your tension. <laughs> Feeling just a little bit better today. Got some good sleep last night, so... Okay, so that is the economic hook. And now what we're going to do is a number four. Uh, we'll do um, from Knitter's Pride a number four. These are really nice hooks. See, the, the smaller hook you go, the better, the tighter it goes to. The looser the hook, you get a dainty, well, you get a lacier look. So we could have even went with a seven probably with this one. Just to try it out, you could probably make a shawl with a number seven. That'd be neat. I like shawl, you know. Okay. So that is a four from... Knitter's Pride. Now let's see if we can get a. Is it a 350? Yep. A 350 or 3.5 from Haya Haya. I just wanted to show these new ones off again because they're really, really nice and smooth. Oops, that was my fault. <laughs> Bad, yeah. Oh, I made a big loop there. Okay, so that's a 350 higher, higher. So you can probably keep going down. Let's try a, a three. This will be the last one for this one. <laughs> I just want to see how far we can get. So we did a 650. So that's down to bottom. So you could probably do even a seven if you want lacier. Uh, then we did a six. And then we did a five. A 550, a 4, a 350, and now a 3. So these are all, the one that we did for economic was the number 5. And the rest came from Knitter's Pride and Ophelia Talks to Haya Haya crochet hooks. Well, is it, see, it's going in good. I like doing different ones, so the one that I like doing for a lot of baby blankets and all that is the number threes or 350, um, or sorry, 3.0 or 3.5 millimeter crochet hooks. They make a really nice uh, baby blanket, unless you want a nice looser one, then you can just do it with, you know, a looser a looser stitch okay so that's number three so you know that you can do in between big and loose but look at that's nice it's a nice stitch very soft too I got about three of these cakes I should make a how many yards are in it 344 yards hmm and then I got a couple other ones too. So that is 
the ombre mandela and now what we're going to do is do the um, Burnett Premium. It's a size 4. So what we're going to do is let's try a... Should we try a 7? Why not, right? Why not? Okay, we'll get um. Do I have a 7 in this one? I don't think I have... No... The Knitter's Pride, I was talking to Allison today, it does not go up to size 8, the Knitter's Pride. It goes up to a 6. So, we were going to get this big one from Haya Haya. It's number 7, so let's try it out. It's a good way of trying it out. That is a big hook. Wow. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine, ten, okay. And we're going to do a half double crochet Oop. into every stitch. This is neat. This is a four worsted weight yarn. Nice color pink, too. This is all. Can't wait till I get the other yarns in, and we're going to do a little bit bigger yarn and hook review. Because I got, like I said, oops. Oh, there it is. Okay. Make that loop a little too small. There we go. Okay, so that is the number seven, Haya Haya. Now we're going to do a 650. So that's the seven. Now that's what the number four worst to weight. This is a 650 now. Not bad. These hooks are really nice. Like, I thought my hands would start hurting with arthritis, doing those little blocks and, and starting that uh, blanket for February, the cow. No, my hands aren't hurting. Not from the high Haya or from the Knitter's Pride. Okay, so that is a 650. Not bad. So we got a seven at the bottom and a six fifty from the higher higher hooks. And now we need what's the number was that? Six fifty. We're gonna try a five fifty. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's going through. Sorry, I have to get a drink. What the hell is everybody's New Year's Eve? Last night when I did my uh, video, it was New Year's Eve last night, and I was talking. For <laughs> it was weird. Okay. So this is a 550, 5.5 millimeter, higher, higher. Um, okay. And this is a five economic one. The cycles and good too. Mm -hmm. It's good to just try different hooks. You never, you, you might quite surprise yourself. Like that's the first time I ever used a a seven on a worst of weight yarn. <laughs> that's okay. Number four, I meant.
Okay. So that is the economic one. Now, it's not bad. So six, uh, seven, a six and a half, a five and a half, and a five. Now we're going to use the number four in Knitter's Pride. Not bad, it's going in too. Yeah. I tried those bamboos out last time and they're cutting through, so I, um, I'm going to sand them down and see what I could do. Because I, I don't mind the bamboo ones as economic either. Well, some are economic, some aren't. Okay, so. We know that a four of the Knitter's Pride works. Who's that? Let's try 375. <laughs> Might as well keep trying, right? Oops. Yeah, so the smaller you go, the tighter stitches is. Yeah. This is a 375. Oops. It's, not, it's going pretty good. <laughs> we got some finer yarns I could do too. But I have to get them together. Okay, so this is a 375 from Knitter's Pride. So not bad. Okay, the 7 is the biggest one down at the bottom. So that's not bad. Not bad stitches. So that's number 2. Number 3 is that... Uh, oh, Patton's Beehive Baby Chunky. If I can start it, I don't know which way it goes, but I never used yarn like this before. What's going on here? Taking it from the wrong end. I like the yarn when it comes to the end. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it wants to do that to us. So, what we're going to do is just take the label off. I can roll this up later. So this is a bulky number five, they say. So I'm gonna try an eight. I'll try an eight of Haya Haya. This is neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, don't knock that down. Okay. All right. So do a half double crochet in each stitch. And I worked with an eight before, can you believe it? <laughs> I think my eyes that I ever worked with was a 650. Not bad though. Oops, sorry. Yeah. The last one in here. Make that one big too. That's okay. All right. So that is the number eight, higher, higher, and it worked pretty good. What number is that? Okay, now we'll try a number seven in the higher, higher. Mm. 
Not bad. I've never worked with this jar before. I've never even seen it before. That's nice, pretty colors. Okay. Now one more at the end here. Okay. All right. So that's the uh, number seven. Hiya, hiya. Okay. Now we're going down the line. So we're going to use, um, do I have a, okay, what number is this? We'll try a 550. in um, Knitter's Pride. Bad. Very good. Okay, so that is a 550 in Knitter's Pride. And now what we're going to do is a 5 in Economic. Not bad at all. This is good. Okay, so that's the economic number five. Now we're going to try a number four in a regular seal hook. Not bad. See, there's all the, the smaller the hook is, the tighter the, the stitches, but if you want to do it with a bigger hook, you get a lacier one. So that's not bad. The higher, higher ones in the knitter pros. I'm only I only use a couple of them, so um, I have to use them all. And then, but they they are wonderful hooks. Okay, so that's just a regular number four. I wonder if we can get a three. I don't even know if we can get a three in here. We need to look. Why don't we try? 325. Three. <laughs> We're gonna try a three. Higher, higher. No, it is bright. Well, actually, that's not a three. That is. A f that is a 275. I don't think you want that. Where does this go? I put them all in the same um, case because the higher, higher ones have um, a good case for. There's a 350. I can't. Oh yeah, I got the 350 for my other one. Okay, so we'll just use. Uh, a higher, higher three. <laughs> Why not? Right? That'd be really tiny. Oh. Sorry, this is awesome. <laughs> Oops. 
Okay. That's not bad. Worked out. You know. <laughs> See, they can all go in here. I like that. Here's some of the bigger ones. Oh my heavens. Can we try something? I want to try this new purple one out. And it's a number 12. Yeah. Let's try it out. <laughs> it's all a lot of fun. Oh. That'd be really lacy. Holy. Okay, how about we don't try that one out? <laughs> At least we tried. <laughs> Besides that, a nine. Should we try a nine? I like the colors, like they're all beautiful colors. Isn't that nice going in? Tight. Should have done this at the bottom with the seven eight for the eight. Not bad. All right. Okay, well that's our show for tonight. That's not bad. Look, that's a size 9 and it looks tight. That's pretty good. So that's that. And then we did this one. And then we did this one. Which is pretty. So, that's our three yarn reviews and hooks today. Uh, next time, I will try to get, um, I really do like Disney's Pride, and I really like um, Haya Haya. They're really nice hooks. I just have to put them all back in order. That's all. But I thank you for joining me. I uh, had a lot of fun. <laughs> Experimenting. <laughs> oh, what number is that? That should come over this way. Yeah, five. Excuse me. That one was a five there. This one is. So. Oh, I see. See, this case will hold up a lot. And you can put all your threes in one area, fours, fives. Except for those, those won't go in. But there's still plenty of room. So I got my, the higher highest, all up top. Higher highest, and these are all the knitter brides. So I still got quite a bit of room down here. I put my clovers and my other ones in that I like. So I just rolled them back up, and this is a cute little bag. I'm wondering if we should do one, something like that in crocheting. I think that'd be a neat little project to do. First I gotta do one so then that way I can show you how to do one. Okay, well thank you for joining me for this little um, adventure and I appreciate it and um, you guys have a good night and if I feel a little bit better more tomorrow, I might do a little, just a little tutorial tomorrow. I don't know on what yet, but I'll figure out something. Okay. God bless you guys. Have a good night, and thank you very much. Um, Mike said thank you to everybody for praying and well wishes. And I thank you so much for it all, too. So God bless. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year's.